Welcome to another Canva tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to edit margins in Canva. So, let's get started. Say for example, this is your design. The first thing we need to do is to set up the margin, and we'll move on to designing afterwards. To view your ruler, press Shift plus R on your keyboard. And now here we have our ruler. By the way, depending on the unit you chose for your design, that will be the unit for your ruler. For this design, I used inches because the unit I chose on the custom design button when I first created this was in inches. Anyway, to add our margin guide, let's right click on our page. And from the drop down, we're going to choose guides. I'll add a horizontal guide first. Snap your guide wherever you'd like it to be. And we're going to try it again for the bottom. Now let's add our vertical guides. And to lock our guides so they don't move anywhere, right click again, click on guides, and click on lock guides. Now, to add our margin, you can simply use either a line element or a graphic element of your choice and place those according to the guides we made. To add a line, you can simply press L on your keyboard and adjust it accordingly. I'm going to duplicate it and place one at the bottom. I'm going to duplicate one again. Rotate this to 90 degrees and extend it. Duplicate it and place the other one on the other side. To edit your border, you can click on the line and the toolbar above will appear where you can edit the color of your margin, the weight of your margin, as well as a couple of other simple designs. If you like, you can add designs for your lines and point, or even curve it by playing around with the buttons here on the toolbar above. I'm going to apply the same style to the other lines on our margin. I'm going to copy style, paste it here, and do the same thing for the others. And there's our margin. If you'd like to use a more advanced or better looking margin designs, you can try looking for some on the elements section. Type in relevant keywords on the search bar. Go to graphics and look for graphic elements that you can use as margins instead. Take this one for example. You can change the color of your graphic element over here on the toolbar above. Change it to whatever color you like. Once you're happy with how it looks like, you can now start copying and pasting it. But you can also just press the duplicate button over here. You may need to zoom in sometimes to properly place your elements. And if your elements don't fit, you can crop it instead. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And thank you also for your feedback on our previous videos. We'll strive to keep improving. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. See you in the next one. 
stay creative and keep on creating.